So it's uh, warm out there this week. May not be something we have to worry about, but we could see snow again this weekend. Yeah, it'll definitely be on the roads, but in the future, maybe not so much on the street lights. Yeah. Traffic expert Jason Luber is here, and Jason, you found out about a fascinating new technology that could help out with these traffic lights in the snow. Yeah, especially specifically LED lights and how they get coated mm -hmm. with snow. So it was Robin Aurora who wrote to me saying what's driving you crazy when the new LED traffic lights first came out. They work great, except in snowstorms. The LED lights don't produce enough heat to melt the snow. Has this problem been solved? Thanks to a traffic signal electrician from Glenwood Springs. Yeah, Rob, the problem has been solved. As you mentioned before LED lights, traffic signals used a regular incandescent bulb. They would produce enough heat that any snow on the signal would quickly melt away. As traffic signal lights were changed to more energy efficient and less heat emitting LEDs, the unintended consequence was snow buildup covering the lights like this. Now, Coloradan and transportation signal electrician Chris Bichon, he pondered the problem and he came up with that contraption right there. He calls it the snowproof signal. Basically, it's a cone that's attached to the front of a traffic light that disperses the snow away from the light so it doesn't have a chance to stick. This is how Chris tested his design. He put a couple of traffic lights there in the back of his pickup truck and he drove around Glenwood Springs in the snow at 35 miles an hour. Now this is one of the covers I found installed right now at many traffic signals in Aurora. They are installed only over the red signal lights for right now, but Aurora recently ordered another 150 units this past year in the city of Loveland. They were the first to install install them and since then almost a dozen cities and counties in Colorado plus CDOT have installed these snowproof covers on selected signals. Now Chris told me one of his favorite moments through this entire process is when he could show his family his invention after it was installed on a traffic signal where he lives in Glenwood Springs. I have much more about this story on Denver7.com. You can see the signal cover right there. You can also listen to my podcast interview hmm. with Chris. It's called Driving You Crazy. That's the podcast name. It's just search Driving You Crazy podcast or you can get it from the link in the online version of this story found right now on denver7.com mm. fascinating yeah. yeah one of those why didn't i think of that <laughs> exactly yes. yeah. exactly uh and uh, lisa no no snow out there on the covers right now on the lights not yet